Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Radiomaster Boxer Crush. And if you're familiar with the Boxer line from Radiomaster, the Crush has got the colored shell. Uh, that's really the only difference, so video over, right? Well, it comes in uh, seven different colors, six colors other than blue, which isn't just a stock blue, let's see what they call it here. Iceberg blue. And it is a little bit lighter in color than it appears in pictures. Something to keep track of. If you're not familiar, uh, the Radio Master Boxer series, I think, has kind of taken over as far as square radios go uh, in FP, FPV popularity. One other difference, I almost skipped over it, is this comes stock with AG01 gimbals. And those are very nice, very smooth, very precise gimbals. I won't say they're the best because somebody from, from uh, Futaba will come along and say their gimbals are better or some other company that I just don't use their products from. But... For me, these are the gimbals to have. Now, oftentimes these gimbals as a set are $100 alone. Uh, this radio should come in around $189. So that's where it puts it in kind of the boxer lineup. The standard boxer uh, comes in at $140, $139.99. And then you have the Max, uh, which comes in at $239. So there's a big price range of $100 between the entry boxer and the Max boxer. And then you've got this one right at the middle at $189. Uh, this does still come with a bay in the back, so you can add a module, but it only comes in Express LRS. If you're not running Express LRS, then you probably have to either jump down or go down to the uh, Boxer stock, because it does have a 4-in-1 version is available to fly things like uh, DSMX and FR Sky, things like that that you might use. Uh, one of the differences between this and the Boxer Max is going to be the metal pieces that you get for the buttons, uh, specifically these buttons here and the roller. The roller is still metal here, but it comes in a fancy color, but these buttons over here are metal. And then you get some uh, the nuts that secure the uh, switches down are colored, as well as the, the turn dials are well, as well are colored. And on the Max also has a metal kickstand in the back or handle, you might call it. So that's kind of the differences between the three lines. Uh, the the main line, the least expensive at 139, does not have the AG01 gimbals. Uh, is a little bit less expensive. It doesn't come in colors. Then you've got this with colors and the AG01s. And then you've got the Max with the AG01s. And it's got carbon fiber, I think, is one of the few shell types, as well as several different colors, which you can get with the metal highlights on gimbals and buttons and stuff like that. That's really it. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you is that the TX16S, at least for a time, was kind of a dominant radio in FPV. Uh, it's got a, a, a bigger screen. It's a bigger radio. It's heavier. I've actually got a module in the back of mine, so mine, mine is like a tank. But I wanted to put it here on camera to give you some idea of the size. That doesn't really do us justice, does it? Maybe side by side? There we could tell. That the TX16S is bigger than the Boxer. Probably sound a little funny. Uh, as far as thickness goes, yeah, the Boxer is not as thick either. It does have rubberized grips versus the the Max version of the Boxer is going to have the leather grips. Uh, so it's a smaller based radio. It's a little bit for those veterans uh, closer to that QX7, kind of that wide stance on, but not tall. Uh, like the TX16S. And I think, again, I think it's been one of the more popular radios out there. Of course, I would expect the shell to become available. Uh, it's where you can buy your own color and then swap your components if you've already got a boxer and you want a, a colored shell as well. It'll probably become available, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Let's Two weeks, right? Two weeks, a couple of weeks, sometime later, uh, after this Crush version does debut. Uh, it does come with a screen protector, which I did not put on. Uh, put that on your screen. It does come with a USB cord for charging and connecting your simulator. It also comes with an extra set of tension springs and an Allen wrench and a hole cover, which is for the top where your antenna goes in, as well as a Radio Master uh, keychain. A very brief guide. I would say that uh, you'll probably have to look up online the AG01 gimbals so that you can uh, look at the spring tensioners, which you can get from the front, except for the um, throttle friction tensioner that's in the back. It kind of looks like the hole lines up underneath the grip, but as much as I stared down it, I could not get the hole to line up with both screws on that tensioner. 
um, and they're kind of off to the side, so I'm not really certain that both or even one of the two lines up. So that may be something you have to take the radio apart for, but that's probably where most of the manual stuff is going to come in, is uh, with the spring tension from the, that you can get it to the front, and uh, limiting range as well on these AG01 gimbals. They're, they're, they have a full feature set themselves. Uh, you can always look that up online because it's not included in the manual. It also does come with gimbal protectors in the color of the case that you select. You can see my sticks. I've adjusted them. I like my stick ends a little further out. Uh, they do stick out beyond the gimbal protectors. Something to kind of keep track of. As usual, it comes with a case. And of course, it does come with one sheet of stickers. The Crest version, 189. Uh, you've got the stock boxer at uh, 139, and then you've got the max at 239. 259, sorry. If I said 239 earlier in the video, I apologize. 259, and this one is 189. You've got a full lineup. Uh, I'm sure it'll currently launch. I don't know what shops it'll launch from, so if you're aware of what shops are launching this on launch day, please let me know in the comment section below, and I will add it to the link description with wherever I can find this available. Uh, I think you can buy it direct on day one from Radio Master that is going to ship from China. So it's something you've got to keep in mind when it comes to delivery times. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your time. Did I say this only comes with Express LRS versions? Thanks for watching.